Hello. My name is Bhaskar. In this tutorial, we will learn about nodes. We will make 7 procedural textures, and 5 easiest textures, we can make from default textures, probably most of us don't know about. Ok. Let's go to the shader editor. Now I will make a 1 minute introduction on shader editor. We sometimes use this tab, for applying materials. Shader editor, is bigger version of this. We can change the name of material here. Here we can change the color of an object. This is subsurface color. Here we can change, the color of inner side of an object. If you change the subsurface color, it will affect the outer layer too. Just play with it, you will see. Here, we will use, Node Wrangler add-on. Go to Preference page. And then add-ons. Then search Node Wrangler. Enable this. And. Save preferences. Now what we can do with this add-on is that. We can cut this by pressing, Ctrl plus right mouse click, and drag. We can join this to node, by pressing Alt plus right mouse click drag. Another cool feature is that, we can add to color with just a hotkey. Let's add image texture. And a noise texture. We can add this tube by pressing. Shift plus control plus right mouse click and drag. It has some more cool features. We will talk about it if we have to use any. Let's start a new scene. Delete the cube. I deleted the light and camera too. Then add a plane. Open the shadow editor. We will make a simple cloth texture now. It is the easiest best texture. Add a new material, by pressing new. And add a wave texture. Join the factor to subsurface color. And change the base color. I will use black. You can change the subsurface color too. Press Ctrl plus T and click the wave texture to add mapping node and texture coordinate. We can change the strip's location, rotation, scale in. Mapping node. We need these strips, to be parallel with object edge. So here change this to 45 degree. Now add a color ramp node. Move this. To change color of scale of strips. If you move two point closer, it will clear the roughness of the edges. Now we will add some stripe perpendicular to these strips. I am making some space to add some node here. Press Shift plus Control and right mouse click drag. Here change it to 135. Here we can also, change the stripe scale, but a bit different than color ramp. I will use the default scale for now. Now we will, add some more detail in it. Add these to node. Now I will change the rotation to zero. Now change this scale. Change the detail. And detail scale to zero.
and change these to constant. I will talk about these in later tutorial. I don't want to bore you now. And change this to 90. Change the scale up a bit. Here we go we made our first texture. Adding some details to the texture. We can add color. I will use red. We will make these two texture in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please check the next tutorial.